Hello everyone. Today we're going to cover how to make an Inco woven wrist strap key fob. Lots of purposes for them, as you can see. And this is the hardware. This is a 1.25 inch hardware. You can get these on Etsy. That one's a bit more heavy duty. And this is the one inch and you can see you get a variety of finishes. These are key fob pliers. They're specialized pliers and they've got plastic tips on them to so you don't uh, scratch or dent your hardware. The other thing to note is that there's a little screw in here. I move it down about a quarter inch and that's so that when you do go to crimp your hardware in place you're not going to do it, do it so hard that it's going to dent your hardware. Alright, let's get started. So you're going to need approximately 10 or 11 inches of inkle woven band and so the first thing I'm going to do, this one's too long, I've measured off 11 inches and marked it. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to um, to stitch to stitch it. But before we get started there, let's go have a look at some of the basic things you're going to need. Basic polyester thread, basic thread, measuring tape. I use a number 16 denim needle. Sharp scissors for trimming your your strap. And these are thread scissors to trim off the excess thread. And then I'm going to be using one inch hardware. I'm going to remove the ring and have it ready. And this is optional. This is just a label. And then a little bit of stop fray that I'll put at the edges of the of this material um, to keep it neat and tidy. So when I go to sew, um, I like to use a overstitch. Um, so it, or a stretch stitch. So this is the one I like for there, an overcast stitch. And I want to make sure that my trim edge is about an eighth of an inch wide. I start in the middle of the strap. And when I sew, I sew from the middle to the edges, back to the middle, back to the, out, uh, the other out edge, and back into the middle. This way, all the little excess threads aren't at the edges that'll look untidy, and then I can trim those away. And then I'm going to get my scissors and then I'm going to trim here as close to where I've stitched as I can. I've already completed the other end before I started the video and I have my label in place. I'm going to fold the strapping in half. I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine and this and then I'm going to go back to a straight stitch so always remember to go back to your straight stitch and again I'm going to start in the middle I'm going to go to the outside edge back to the middle and then back to the other edge and then ending where I started in the middle. Remove from the machine my thread scissors and trim all the excess threads away. Now before I put on my hardware, I'm just going to put a little dab a fray check. A little bit too much there on the edges. Leave that off there. I just press it in there, just to mold it in there. Then I'm going to get my hardware. The ring is removed, and I want the 
the wrong side to go where the label is. So the label is going to be at the back. And I line it up with the rows of stitching to try to make sure I get it nice and straight. Then I get my crimpers, put them over, and I just squeeze a little bit and then I remove them and just check just to make sure everything's lined up nice and straight. And then I gradually give it a few little presses. I'm not going too hard because I want to make sure I don't dent my hardware. Oops, I found a loose thread. Then I can pop on my split ring. Voila, we're all completed. Thank you for watching.